Hey guys, Rich from Rich Gaming. Hope everyone is doing fantastically well. It's still warm here in the UK. It's a really nice 30 degrees outside. My office temperature is probably about five degrees more than that. So again, I've got the fan going in the background. If you can hear that, apologies, um, but it's just far too warm to not have it running. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of a different video today. Now, as some of you may be able to see and you may be noticed from uh, other videos, I have another love outside of Marvel Crisis Protocol and board gaming in general, which is Lego and most specifically Star Wars Lego. So you can see behind me here, I've got the oh, other hand, I've got the various different helmets that we've got. If I just duck down, you can also see we've got Grogu there. Uh, we've got the Scout Trooper and actually um, one viewer did eventually uh, pick up on it. So just here you can see that we've got Thanos' gauntlet or the Infinity Gauntlet um, actually flipping the bird. But I've been a collector of Lego UCS sets in particular for the last five or six years now and have pretty much purchased everything that's come out for, during that five or six year period and have recently started trying to pick up some older sets. Now the problem is is that I'm not willing to pay through the teeth for these sets. Uh, most of them were a few hundred pounds upon release and some of them even second hand can cost seven, eight, nine, sometimes ten times what they originally were being sold for. So I'm always on the lookout on eBay and Bricklink and other such type things to try and find a bargain. And recently on eBay, I managed to find a UCS Sandcrawler at a very, very reasonable price. It's one that I didn't have in my collection. Um, so I thought I would do a quick video on it. But before we do a quick video on this, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you everything else that I've got that isn't on camera. And yeah, give you guys a quick tour of the office, the Lego models I've got, uh, maybe show you a little bit of my uh, pile of shame that I've got as well and then we'll jump into unboxing the UCS Sandcrawler and then we'll take a look at it once it's all built up so yeah let's jump over to the other camera and we'll take a look so if we take a look then we've got a little Star Wars memorabilia plaque there the Elsa we trust uh, but then we've got our first of our UCS sets which is the Delta 7 Aethos Fight Class Light Interceptor um, also known as Obi-Wan's Jedi Starship and then we've got the Darth Vader artwork and the Darth Maul artwork. You can get a Kylo Ren one, just not interested in that. And then we've got a little friend set there as well. Further up then onto the other wall is four of our UCS sets. But before we get onto them, we've got our little shrine there to the third love of my life, Legion United. So here then we've got four UCS sets. We've got the B-Wing on the left-hand side. We've got the Snow Speed or the Air Speeder at the bottom there. We've got the A-Class uh, Wing. And then at the top there, we've got the X-Wing, which is one of uh, one of my personal favourites. So over here then on the next wall, we've got three more UCS ships. We've got the Slave one in the middle. We've got the TIE Fighter on the right-hand side. And then we've got the Imperial Class Shuttle. Uh, that was a, another set, as well as the Jedi Interceptor, actually, that I didn't buy brand new, but picked up at a reasonable price. Uh, I think from eBay were both of them. So the shelf that you guys have seen quite a lot. Uh, we've got the Thanos there flipping the middle finger. One that you may not have seen before is we've got the um, Big Bang Theory set there as well. Um, a few bits of piles of shame down here that need, uh, some of the boxes need opening, so a lot of them need painting. We've then got Grogu, we've got the Scout Trooper, we've got the uh, TIE Pilot, I think that one is, yeah. We've got the Storm Trooper, we've got Darth Vader, and then we've got Boba Fett. And then up here, We've got the Ghostbusters X01, and then my two favourites, we've got the Super Star Destroyer, this is the Devastator, sorry, Star Destroyer ship, I'm not going to get them down. And then here we've got the brand new, or newish, Millennium Falcon UCS set. Um, so yeah, that's what I've got at the moment. So let's jump over and take a look at the unboxing. So guys, let's get into the box and see what is inside. I've obviously, uh... okay, so it looks like he's packed everything up quite nicely in here. And there we go, okay. So everything is in individual bags, which is nice. The minis are made up by the looks of it, which is okay. That's not too bad. Um, so yeah, we've got lots and lots 
and lots of bags here. Uh, much smaller packaging than uh, when you buy these brand new. Looks like these are even um, sort of almost colour coded as well. It's going to make it significantly easier to sort them out. Now obviously when you buy a brand new Lego model, um, all the bags are numbered. Now this has been built and taken apart so none of the numbered bags are there. Let's have a look, we've got the instruction manual here. So this is all really good. Um, oh wow, okay we've even got some original stickers in there as well that's really nice like to see the stickers that haven't been put on um, with these UCS sets we always get some really nice uh, some text there about what it is a little bit there from the designers the sort of blueprints guys that have designed it there so this one was uh, Jens Kronvold Fredriksen uh, so this was the, oh no, he wasn't the designer, he was the, uh, he was the design director and it's Olav Krogard who has done that there. Um, but yeah, this is, this is one of my other obsessions. So I do love tabletop gaming, I do love board gaming, but as you guys saw earlier from the tour of my office stroke man cave, uh, that it's in a bit of a mess at the moment but you saw all of my lego sets there as well so i'm going to have some fantastic fun putting this one together i really do enjoy it this is one that i'm trying to get hold of as well the b-wing um, these older lego sets are they're not 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 necessarily difficult to get hold of they are difficult to get hold of at a reasonable price um, he did say as well, have a quick look here, yeah, so we actually have a set of instructions that are completely brand new. Now I'm not sure why you only get one set of instructions with the Lego sets. They are exactly the same, they are identical, it's not like they're different languages or anything. Um, so yeah, that would be an interesting one um, and I may even just resell this on uh, you can probably get i may even just resell this one on can probably get uh, maybe 15 20 30 pounds back for that i'll buy my next marvel crisis protocol set won't it but um yeah i'm going to go away now and i'm going to build this up probably not in one go there's a lot of bits here to sort out um so i'm filming this now i don't know when i'm going to see you guys again talking about this um, it will be a mere seconds for you, but when I come back and I'm showing you the model, I'll let you know how long it's been. And here we go guys, so this is the UCS Sand Crawler set 75059 in all of its glory. Um, I'll give you a quick 360 view there as I'm talking through it. Now I have to admit something here, I recorded that box opening about two, three weeks ago. Uh, it's taken me quite a while to get this done, just with work and other such things that are going on at the moment that have been quite busy. Plus the fact that none of these bags were numbered, so I had to sort out all of the pieces. So just making the build overall much longer than it would be if it was new. So we can see we've got some minifigures here as well. So we've got four Jawas, a whole selection of droids. We've obviously got R2, D2 and C3PO. We've got a Treadwell droid. We've got some R2 units. We've got, uh, what else we've got there? We've got the Gonk droid. We've got an RSD4 unit. Uh, and then obviously um, Owen Lars and then Luke Skywalker as well. Now, as with most UCS sets, there is some playability with this. Now, obviously I'm not in it for the playability, but I'll just give you a quick idea of what we've got on here. So we turn this at the back and it will move those treads there, as you can see. Turn this one at the front here and it will open down this hatch to reveal then a crane that's inside plus a little sort of um, scrap unit thing that they use to carry the scrap pieces around. You can take this one step further then and we can remove this top part here and open this up and you can see there we've got the, the cockpit inside as well. As well as that there are some sort of compartments that we've got along the side here where if I can open it up 
doesn't seem to want to let me. There we go. Once you get one, they all open up. So you get these little sort of pieces in there as well. Inside it then, there's some more uh, sort of internal working. So you can see we've got these boxes here that are used for sort of spare parts. You can see we've got one in there at the moment. And then the idea is, is that these would be uh, filled up with the droids and then they would pass through when that actually fits in, filled it with the drawers, these would actually then slot into here and then go into there for storage. On the side then we've got some other compartments so we've got the ladders that uh, take us down there and then there are some uh, internal We've got some sort of cranes for picking things up there as well. So there's lots of little play features. It gives you some options there uh, for how you want this on display. For me personally, I like to keep it really simple with these. So uh, I'm probably going to pick up a display case for this uh, just because there's quite a lot of minifigures with it. The one thing I'm noticing is that the, my Lego models get quite dusty. Um, I've got some stands for some of them that help, but I think I'm going to get a display box for this just to keep that dust off it. And it will just simply be... The, the minifigures stood outside it. And there we go guys, that is my brand new UCS Sandcrawler set. Now for those of you who know my channel purely from a predominantly Marvel Crisis Protocol or tabletop gaming standpoint, hath no fear, this is not turning into a Lego review channel, but it is something else that I really do enjoy. It's another part of my hobbying that I really enjoy. And I will probably do a video each time I get a new one of these sets, but to be honest with you, that is probably only ever going to be two, maybe three times at the most every year. So have no worries. Uh, the next video will be a Marvel Crisis Protocol video, but let me know down in the comments section below. Um, do you like seeing this other type of content? Would you prefer me to just stick to the Marvel Crisis Protocol stuff? I've got a long list of MCP things that I'm going to be uh, dishing out over the next uh, coming weeks as well. So yeah, let me know. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It really, really does help. And as always, guys, until next time, stay well, keep safe, and bye for now.